it's a Target haul, y'all. I am going to be showing you some really fun Target finds very recently, and I'm going to be sharing with you fashion, makeup, and jewelry today. So let's get into that. All right, first off, really fun. I decided to do a Target haul because I know that so many of us do shop at Target for our clothes and different things. And I found some really great things there just recently. So I wanted to be able to bring those to you today. Um, let's start off with fashion, kind of. Um, this shirt is so much fun. I'm gonna try and pan out. So I panned out just a little bit so you can see this shirt. It has ruching right here on the shoulders and on the arms, which I think is so cool. And it's long sleeve for fall, which we're getting into. I just love this shirt. I might be going to get it in some other colors. It's knit. It doesn't have any, it feels like it's cotton. It might have a little bit of spandex in it, but it doesn't feel like it has any polyester, which I really appreciate because cotton just seems to breathe on my skin better. So I just thought it was cute. I liked the neckline because I could wear these necklaces with it, which by the way, I did get at Target as well. These are the rage right now with the paperclip line links and so this is a three chain of them this one isn't the paper clip but it's kind of a cute accent a little bit closer on that so that you can see that so pretty i just think it's so cute on and it's just a great accent and then the earrings too i just thought the earrings were so fun and they are purple of course i love purple but they also um they just go so good with this shirt so i thought that was great i'm gonna go up and then i got this adorable cute long one that is the paper clip links on it as well. I thought it was so cute. And then it has the accent and it matches the earrings really well. And I love that about it. So I will try this one on for you guys. It is not quite as long as these, but it does have an extender. And then when I'm using the extender, it can go way down and be a four chain and which I think is so cute. Isn't that great? So really fun on that necklace and I love that it matched the earrings. So I just thought that was so cute. And I know that so many times you guys are asking me about my jewelry and my shirts and I can never link them because I'm a shopper at Ross normally, but I can link them today. So how much fun is that? The other fashion item that I wanted to show you was a purse. This purse, I actually just got this purse, but oh my gosh, I think this purse is so cute. I'm going to have to tip way back. It's huge. I love a huge boho bag. Um, more than anything, I like it because it's just easy to me, for me to throw my little bag in that I showed you guys before. I showed you my little uh, makeup emergency bag. I just toss that in my wallet and my cell phone in here and I'm good to go. And so it's just easy for me to transfer the, them into the bigger bags. This one has three compartments. So it's got that one and then it's got a zipper and it's got the one on the other side. So let me unzip that. So the zipper one is huge. It's a huge compartment. So I love this boho bag. I think it's so cute. The detailing on it is cute as well. It's got this zipper that you actually can zip up on the side if you want to. I probably will leave that open as just an accent because I think it's so dang cute. And then you have the little accents right here on the handle. And I really loved the accent that is the braiding all the way around it. Let me get close so you can see that. That's braiding all the way around it. And then the handles are braided as well with gold accents. So dang cute. I just thought it was adorable. And I'm so glad that I got it and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna be switching my purse over today and that is all kinds of fun for me. And then we're gonna get into some makeup, which I'm kind of excited about because I've got some fun finds in here. Some things that I don't normally show on my channel. I have a fan going above me. And so my little stray hairs always go on my face. I'm gonna try not to do that all this whole video video. Okay, so first of all, they do have Makeup Revolution at Target, which I got really excited about. I really like Makeup Revolution. I don't normally like their palettes, but this was a palette that I hadn't seen before, and I had bought a little nine pan palette of theirs that I was a little bit more impressed with the formula of their eyeshadows. Years and years ago when I first started my channel, I was so into the eyeshadows of Makeup Revolution. But what happened is that through the years, they changed their formula. I didn't think it was as good. I do like this formula this time. This is Makeup Revolution and Pat Patricia Bright. I haven't heard of that influencer, but boy, did she pick some beautiful colors. And I've been kind of steering away from this really bright panned look and the deeper tones because I've been lightening up my makeup so much. 
but I couldn't resist this. And I will tell you that I was pleasantly surprised about the mats in here. The mats are what have always kind of just made me feel like they were just falling a little bit short. Um, but these are really creamy and nice and they were very easy to blend. So I was pleasantly surprised at that. I really was shocked at that. I will say the one thing that did disappoint me is the shimmers in here. If you're somebody that really wants a really nice bright shimmer, you're not going to really like this. But I will tell you that if you're somebody that likes just a little bit of sheen, this is a beautiful palette for that. I did feel like when I stuck my finger into these that these were more topper like So if you have a color like that brown right there and then you put the topper on it It changes it just a little bit into like a duochrome and it kind of just gives that wash on top of it So I felt like that was pretty so if you're into mixing shadows, you might really enjoy this I do feel like the mattes were really good in here and that they performed really well And like I said, you get some bright colors in here I was really surprised pleasantly surprised But I do want to say that it's not the very best formula at the drugstore i've ever had But i'm surprised at how much better they've improved their formula than they were before So just keep that in mind and then I was really excited that not only do they have nyx Everybody on my channel for a while has known how much I love this marshmallow primer from nyx It sinks into your skin so nicely. It's just one that really feels hydrated and perfecting. I feel like it keeps my makeup on a lot longer. I feel like my makeup is on smooth after it. I just, I'm really enjoying it. It is what I have underneath my makeup today. Gorgeous, gorgeous primer. But what I was excited about, by the way, this one is the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, which I have on underneath my blush. I love putting a cream or a liquid under my blush because it just seems like it just really shows through and is really pretty. So, they have these in trial sizes. Now I know that the full size of the marshmallow primer is 17, which is kind of getting up there. So if you're somebody that's been like, well, Melissa's talked about it, but it's $17. I don't want to spend it on something that I don't know if I'm going to love. They have these in this little sample size now, which I was excited about. They had um, almost all of their primers and then they had a bunch of different things like this that are the minis as well. And I know online they have even more. So let let me just show you this illuminator. It's so pretty. You can wear it very stark or you can wear it sheared out. So across my hand you're, you're here, you're seeing it sheared out like you might mix it with that marshmallow primer. And then you would get just a beautiful glow in addition to your primer. Or if you want to use it with your fingers, use it with a stipple brush, whatever you want, and just use it like I did as the illuminator. And then you have a high beam, you know, you can do it underneath your blush, on top of your blush, whatever you choose. But I love this stuff and I've talked about it before, but it's so pretty. And the primer is my new ride or die primer. I love this stuff. I've been talking about it for a while now. It's really, really good. Okay. Winky Lux is a brand that they've had there for a while, but I think that this blush that I picked up from them is so special. First of all, this packaging, how much fun is that? It's a dome and it's just this beautiful packaging, like a little space bubble. But look what's inside, friends. Oh my word. There's a little tiny rose in there. This is a cream blush. I have this one that I keep on my vanity. It's so pretty, but I have another one that I actually have been using and I will just kind of, you know, put my finger across this a little bit so you can see at least the pigmentation in it. They're so gorgeous. The, it's just like any other blush. It's quite pigmented. It is, if you get the deeper colors, it's going to be more pigmented. You get a lighter color like this one, you're going to have a very light pigment. But I love this cream to powder formula. Well, it's not really even cream to powder. It's just cream and it really hugs the cheeks. And as a mature woman, that it's right up here. <laughs> as a mature woman, it just is so pretty. Now, for me, this is a vanity showpiece. So I keep it on my vanity and I don't use this one. But like I said, I do have another one that I use all the time that I really have loved the formula. I wish that they would come out with one that's not quite so expensive on the packaging but i think that's the draw is that how beautiful that packaging is and i have shown this before and i finally found that they came to target which i thought was so much fun now another brand that i love from target is sonia kashik she has 
some really, really nice brushes. I mean, I love her brushes. Now I'm going to show you this one first. This is a huge powder brush. It's very big. This one with the gold on it, I guess was limited edition. She does have this style with the same bristles, very, very soft and huge for buffing in powder or, you know, whatever you wanted to. If you wanted to use it for bronzer, you could use it for blush. It's a little big for my cheeks, but you could if you're somebody that likes that. Um, but I found this in her other line. It's a professional brush still, but it doesn't have the gold accent. And I think it's cheaper than this one. I think that I paid 25 for this and I'm not exactly exactly sure how much that one is. I'll make sure I put it up on screen. But the bristles are the same exact because I felt it in store. Same exact. It has that beautiful dome shape and a little bit more dense so that you can buff things in if you want to. I love this brush. It's one that I really have enjoyed having in my collection. And then this one right here, which is a buffer, you can use this for if you use mineral makeup, the, the powder mineral makeup foundation. This is so good for that. I actually put my liquid foundation on with this today and love it. I love that you buff it out and that you don't get so much on. It's a great size brush, but if you're somebody that does want to do the mineral makeup and you want to be able to buff that in with a bigger brush, this is perfect for that. And this is one that I've loved for a long time as well. And then one that I repurchased because I think I gave it to my daughter is her fan brush. Now see this handle right here. This is the handle that this brush has now. So it, they have switched over to the more plain handle, but like I said, I think it's a bit cheaper on the powder brush. So this fan brush is fantastic for putting on cream highlighter. You could do cream blush if you wanted to too, but I just took that cream highlighter that I showed you from NYX that I had on my hand and I just lifted it off of my hand with the brush and then I just went in and I stippled it very lightly. It has really, really light bristles out here on the edge and I am in love with that brush. It's fantastic. I'm really liking that brush a lot. All right, last thing, which is so much fun for me. I am in love with this new huge beauty sponge. This is a body sponge supposed to be, but I love this thing. It's about, I don't know, it's about a third of the size when you get it and it's not all, you know, plumped up from the water. I put water in it and then I will wring it out in a cloth. But what I'm loving this for is after I do that, I get it super dry. I will go back in after I've put my foundation on with a brush like this and I'll go in and I will just pounce this, bounce this all over my face and it really just blends out the foundation that I have on. So even though I might have too much on in certain places, it's going to pick it up and it's going to really push in to my pores, my texture, everything, my foundation so that it looks more perfected. I think this is so much fun. It has the teardrop shape as all of them do, but on this side, hopefully the camera is going to pick that up. On this side right here, you can see that it's flat. So if you need to go in and you need to do specific work on underneath your eyes or around your nose. You have that tip with that flat end and you can blend out your makeup with this too. I just happen to use it to go over my makeup after I put it on with the brush because sometimes a brush can be a little bit much on my mature skin, but going over it after with this just makes it look flawless and perfected. And I love this thing. It's great. You think this thing's only $5, which is bonus, right? All right. I think that it was everything for today's haul. I was so excited excited to be able to bring you these few things that I got. Really fun things, really different things than I have been seeing at like Ulta or Sephora or, or things like that. Plus the brushes are very affordable compared to all of those places. So I hope that you did enjoy this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. What is your favorite thing to purchase at Target? I don't purchase groceries or anything there, but I really, really enjoy their jewelry lately and um, their purses and stuff as well. So if you have something fun that you've gotten recently at Target, let us all know in the comment section so that we can find out as well. Hope that you're all doing very well. I hope that you're staying safe. We have tons of rain today, so that's a nice refreshing touch and get all the smoke out of the air from all the fires. Everybody, please take care of yourselves, and I will catch you all in my very next video, hopefully. Goodbye, my friends.